Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We're going to be doing a deeper technical analysis of Android 10 smartwatches using this instrument, which will show heat. You see, in Fahrenheit, it's jumping around with the different temperatures. There's the hottest one by my finger, the coolest one in the lower left-hand corner, and at the very bottom where it's saying 88.4 degrees, that's right where that little square is. We are going to bring over all of our watches that we played with in the last video. And, of course, we've got reflections on these things, too. We're going to turn them on. We're going to get them started. We're also going to do kind of a battery test here, but mostly a thermal test under load. Are you ready? The Thor 6 is sitting at 98%. The LEM 12, 98%. We're at 98% there. And we're a little sticky here. 97%. Okay, it's been on a little bit longer. So we're roughly full with the watches as we begin this test. Now here's what we're going to do to try to stress these watches with uh, a heavy load. Uh, I tried this on this one, of course, because it's got that cool camera on it. And um, it got pretty warm. So I figured, well, we'll try it on all of these guys. What we're going to do... Come here, you... There's a reason it's floating in the box, because when we use the thermal camera and, and check um, the temperature profile on each of the watches, I don't want them to um, be like, make, make contact with something else and change the temperature. So getting it set up real quick, we're going to come into camera on each one of these. And this is the side-facing camera here. It doesn't so much matter what the camera is going to be looking at. What matters is the fact that we're going to be shooting video using the stock camera on each of these watches and letting it run for as long as it'll go. Because a couple of things we want to know is how long can you shoot a video with uh, each of these watches before... Whoops before it stops, camera, and um, how hot will a watch get? Will it turn off? Will it make it? What will it do? Uh, and then uh, how much battery will it use too? Now this is going forward and all the other ones here are going sideways, right? Okay, can you see all that? Good. You won't have to put up with all of it. I'm just getting you all set up. And it doesn't matter, They're really close in time. We started recording there. Did you hear the chirp? Got one going there. Hit the camera here. This, remember, is the uh, Android 7, which is why it looks different. And this is here. And it's recording. Oh, I didn't hear a sound, but I may have had to have that muted. So we're at 20 seconds while we're at 6 seconds here. I'm just going to let these things run. I will tell you already, this machine... Um, shooting at 1080p is going to go for about 32 minutes and a few seconds. So in a half an hour, roughly, I'll come back, we'll check the watches, we will see where they are in their overall temperature, and uh, take it from there. Where, where are they right now? Here's the Thor 6. Now, this is a little tricky. I'm going to have to get the alignment on here. It's meant to be far away, so every uh, everything is going to be shifted down a little bit on this. But you can see that in the middle it's reading about 97 degrees. Down here it seems to be hotter. Yeah, 100.5, 100.4. It's saying where the square is is 99.8. So let's call it roughly 100 in roughly the red area on that one. Wow, we're already up to 109, 110 and rising on the uh, LEM 12 Pro. I'm going to just let this fall down there a little there. Okay, and, and now here's the um, Android 7 watch, the original LEM 12. It's coming in about 102 and... Off camera here is our Prime 2, and uh, getting down here again, it's 98 degrees. 
So I'm, I'm watching the one on the screen because that's going to pick the hottest spot as opposed to this one, which is where the square is. Otherwise, I'm going to move it off the camera. So we're going to be looking at that little one right there. The ambient is 84 degrees, so it's fairly warm in here already. Uh, but the hot is coming in, yeah, 100, roughly 100. So there they go, baseline at about two minutes into it. And we will check back in with you um, in about a half hour. Well, as we uh, approach the 30-minute mark, I'm going to bring over this one, talk a little bit more about this thermal imaging. We're about 26 minutes into it. This is the real deal camera here. This is a Blackview phone that has an array of cameras on it, including um, the infrared camera that can do really detailed um, analysis. So... What the heck, 28 minutes. Let's jump in and analyze what these watches look like. Uh, let's start with, first of all, with this one, because I know it's going to kick out at about 32 minutes. And unfortunately, yeah, this is going to be a little tricky to do. Um, we are watching this one that's jumping around. It's about 118 degrees, and I'm trying to put the square over different parts of the watch on the front. Looks pretty uniform at 119 degrees. Let's flip it over without touching much of anything. Check the back for hot spots. Oh, it's picking up this watch over here. 116. What about up higher? 115. 118. So it's coming in about 116 degrees in the back. Do you agree with me, guys? All right. Let's move on to the second watch. Leave him upside down. Now, this is the original LEM-12. And i got to keep them all uh, apart from each other. 118 degrees as well on this one. 117, 118 I'm following, uh, I guess I should be following the thermal image to get the actual reading, right? 118. Okay, about the same. And we flip that one. Look at the back side of it. Little cooler, 114. Okay, this was about 118, was it? Yeah, that's about 115 now. Aha, this one has turned off. That's interesting. Completely. How hot is this puppy? 124 degrees. I think it has thermally shut down. That's the LEM 12 Pro. 116, 122. Wow, that's warm. And this one is at 30 minutes now, 30 minutes and 38 seconds, it's saying on the front. It's about 120, 21. Backside, 116, 17. Okay. So all of these are doing fairly, well, they're all hot, but the one that really concerns me is the LEM 12 Pro. 120 on the front side it was up at 124 at one point and it is definitely off yeah it's hot press and hold see if we can turn it back on again yeah but it did literally turn itself off that's the lympho lem 12 pro is uh not handling excessive heat and the limitations of just doing a video that's 3137. That's 3124. That's 3133. So they're all still recording. Oh boy. Okay. There's a camera for you. Now, what I got to do on this one is hit this thing and put a temperature thing on the front. 120. Here, white is the hottest, so I want to bring this over, okay, about 119, 120. The uh, LEM-12, the original, 
Same to 121, 22, 124, way down here. This one popped off again. The LEM 12 Pro overheated. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but it's only at 123, 124. We're getting that also on this one. But the uh, LEM 12 Pro cannot handle it. Okay. And uh, the Thor 6 is still cooking, literally. 125 and a half. Dang, these get warm. Back, same thing in that one section. Aha, this one went off and is rebooting itself now. 122. So we've had another failure. That's the Prime 2 at a lower overall temperature, 117, 18. In the front, we're getting around 120. Our old Android 7 still doing good, and it's getting hot. Got up to 125 or so. That one's off. That one's off. Oh, no. Okay, this one's back up again. There's the watch face on it. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You saw what just happened? There's a reason. We have that at the very end of the video. Be sure you watch to the end to find out why this watch just shut off. This one's back up again. There's the watch face on it. And you see, we have an actual image coming through, and uh, we then get the uh, watch overlay on the uh, picture of the thermal part and they're closer aligned on this camera so i'm not having that overlap that we had on the other one whole 30 some odd minute video we just recorded did not get captured but i could go back into camera here and we're back again and i could hit record again and it would be recording so uh, let's go back to this one 36 some odd minutes into it. I am so sweaty. It's over 90 degrees in here. It's not too hot on my arm, just to let you know. And the ambient temperature is really hot. So these watches should be super hot, even more so because it's, uh, it's hot here. This one, a little bit warmer than the Thor 6, but not appreciably uh, warm but warm enough that I'm melting my stickers. <laughs> the, um, darn, too bad this one won't stay on. The 12 Pro has had some time to cool down. It's about the same temperature as all of these. None of them are so hot that you can't wear them. Yeah, this is the warmest of them all right now to my arm because it's big surface area as well. Uh, Wow, 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 wow. And these are still going. So I'm going to I'm just going to let the ones run as long as they're ready to run and uh, we'll just kind of keep monitoring them. One more quick check on all of them. Way back over here in the corner. This guy is starting to cool down but slowly. That's the now off Lympho LEM 12 Pro while the Thor 6 is still moving on at 128 degrees. The original LEM 12, 125, get to that white zone, 127. And we started a new recording, and it's heating back up about 124. Okay, in a minute, I'm going to show you uh, how much power is left on these. i got to turn this one back on if it'll... St oh, it is on! It just turned off. Okay, sorry guys, I thought it had powered down, but it didn't. So it's still on, it's just not recording. But we need it to be recording in order to put the same battery stress load on it. So let's get back into the camera and record video and let it go. All right, we'll be back. All right, about 10 minutes into when we just had the hiccup on these two. As you can see, they had to start over with their videos. We're going to do a battery check, and we know that they all have basically been on, except for when they powered down and rebooted quickly afterwards. So roughly the same load on all of them, even though they overheated and shut down. So let's check uh, where we are with the battery power. To do that, we're going to have to bail out of all of these. I got 49 minutes on here, almost 50 minutes, so well, uh, well into a long extended video if you wanted. 
and end that one. And this one, we only have 10 minutes or so on it. This one, saving it. Takes it a little longer to save. Older watch, older technology. And this one puts it over there. And we're out of all of this. So, coming back, bringing it down, he says, we're at 74% remaining on the Prime 2. And this is going back into camera. There we go. 64% on the original LEM 12. Wow, 47% left on the brand new uh, Android 10 version of the LEM 12 Pro. Remember, these two had to shut down and reboot again. So the older watch, not too shabby. And what about this guy who's about to time out on us? The Thor 6, 64%. So both of these, the original LEM12 and the Thor 6, about the same battery usage under load, and neither one of them uh, failed on us. Uh, but these two, well, obviously huge battery in here, so this has the highest uh, power level at 74%. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's hard to tell what we've got. We're at 47% and it had to turn off. And I don't have them set for staying on for very long. So um, battery test coming up. Well, that basically that's it. Every one of these, except for that one, uh, look in the show notes of the actual reviews of the videos in the very first comment at the very bottom. I'm doing battery tests of each of them and I'm putting the results there so you can get a better idea of how long they're lasting under different loads. We're not doing that in a whole video. That'll be kind of a text document that you can get the feel for. Battery test is in the comment section of the actual review of the Thor 6, the LEM 12 Pro, and the Prime 2. Well, I got an update for you before we close this out. I actually pulled this video. It was going to publish earlier, but I wasn't happy with what we saw with this thing getting so hot it shut itself off. And now we know why. These watches, according to a thermal engineer, are actually designed to use the human body for dissipation of heat. So in my silly little test of taking this thing and setting it on a box in such a way that uh, it wasn't touching anything, I constricted the heat to be within the cavity of the watch. Now, we don't see this with phones, but we do with watches. The contact with the surface of the skin allows, basically, for the uh, heat to dissipate from the watch. You see it's recorded uh, 8 minutes and 55 seconds. This is in the second set of 32 minutes. It's not all that hot on my arm, and it's continuing to record without any problem at all. So, the bottom line is, if you're going to shoot video, strap it on your arm, or your leg, or your forehead, or whatever else you want. Stick it on something that will dissipate the heat. Now we're done. So if you're seeing little uh, boxes in the corners, click on those to get over to the reviews. Subscribe here, the uh, Thor 6, the LEM 12 Pro, and the Cospet uh, Prime 2. Also, guys, be sure you head over to fullandroidwatch.org. We're going to have links also in the show notes down below that... Uh, will take you to individual blogs for each of these watches, or just go in the front door, set up an account, and roam around. There's many, many more discussions about all kinds of issues related to these watches here at Full Android Watch. Thanks for watching, gang. We will see you again soon. We're getting technical. I love it. This is the fun stuff.